69, the magical number. But also the amount of you guys who think they're not using AI in their workflow. Well, I hate to break it to you, but without realizing many tools in After Effects are driven by Sensei, the Adobe AI. So I'm pretty sure that that number is closer to 100%. So After Effects is kind of like my hair, a jungle. There could be something hiding within every menu, every panel, and even when you think you've seen it all and you feel like a Tarzan of After Effects, there are still things to be discovered. Like after creating a mask, the mask properties is unlocked. Right clicking on it opens up the secret temple to the tracker. Once in sight, there's a hidden chamber in the temple, all the way in the deepest darkness, the bottom of the pit. Face tracking. And oh boy is this option some fun, it has many use cases, but we are going to hack it a little bit today and make it function as a face motion tracker. That way we can use Yannick's silly face and bring the viral AI generated image to life. The last selfie on earth will become the last video on earth. What do you guys think of my hair? Like is it, is it really too long? Your hair is cute, I like it a lot. So I have some super exciting news guys, for the past couple of years I've actually been working towards a super big project which which is finally happening next month in September. And the past couple of weeks have just been so exhausting with all of the preparations. We're actually going to travel to a different country to shoot a very special video there. Now I wanted to stick the red cinema camera onto a gimbal and that has been a true challenge. Uh, I've tried out like five or six different gimbals. None of these were actually working. So I asked a question to you guys on Instagram what I should get and you guys recommended to me the DJI RS3 Pro and this one is working it is super portable and i'm able to get this big bad boy onto the gimbal a little bit more stripped down of course but it is working so thank you so much for that feedback i really appreciate it guys but today we don't need the red camera on the gimbal we need it on the tripod and just film in front of a white wall it actually doesn't really matter you don't need to set up anything for this effect <laughs> Now the first thing you need, Janik, is a microphone. Speak into the microphone, squid brain. Isn't this on? A boop, 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 boop. Hello. And that is where Jordi is wrong. We do need some stuff for this effect. The first thing we're gonna need is a AI generated image. And we're using Midjourney because it's free and everybody can use it. You can also use Dolly too, but for Mom. You can also use Dolly too, but you still need an invite for that. So let's use Midjourney. We generated a selfie of the last man on earth and this we're gonna bring to life with After Effects. So now do the shot. Okay, you just generated an awesome AI image. Now it's time to shoot your own face. You need to do some facial expressions so we can track that in After Effects. However, I did some testing this morning and I noticed that After Effects has some trouble doing the tracking and goes all wild. That's why I recommend you add some tracking markers to your own face to make it After Effects easier. Sweet! Now it's time to draw Jordi like one of your French girls. <laughs> All right, let's get started with this. <laughs> Make sure that your face is clean. Wait, wait. Now I'm pretty. As Jenik has started in After Effects, I'm actually running an AI tool that could replace that functionality of After Effects. I'll show it to you by the end of the video what the results of this will be. But anyways, we're running this at the moment on the brand new Creator P100X from MSI. Big thanks to them for also sponsoring this video. The P100X is a beautiful desktop computer with some killer hardware inside. This is a workstation desktop computer where you can run 3D software, After Effects, or even run heavy AI software on it like Deepfake, or absent what we are using right now. now. Even though it's a very compact design with its two chambers, the heat actually dissipates very good. Now inside we can find the latest NVIDIA GeForce 30 series. This one in particular has the 3080 graphics cards and we get the latest 12th generation Intel CPU. This one has a huge performance increasement definitely if you're working with H264 or 265 footage. Now just like with every MSI product, the P100X also comes with Creator Center which helps you to prioritize apps, monitor your system to get the best performance possible out of this little bad boy right here. And of course, an amazing desktop needs to come with an amazing monitor. We're looking here at the Summit MS32 One Up, a true Ultra HD resolution at a beautiful 32 inch size. And as it covers up to 95% of the DCI P3 color profile, this monitor is perfect for creative tasks. You get a whole bunch of connections on the side, such as an SD card reader. But what I like the most is that you can actually save your color management profiles on the monitor itself. So that means if you're going 
to hook up your laptop to this monitor, it will actually remember your color profile instead of if you were to save that traditionally on your computer. And that is possible because of the productivity intelligent processor in sight. It's kind of like an AI on its own. So this here is a perfect setup for if you are a video creator. Actually, Matisse, our intern, has been working on this setup right here and he's been really enjoying it. So guys, I can highly recommend that you check out the Creator P100X and the Summit Monitor. Links can be found in the description down below. And in the meantime, I see that the AI is done with its processing. So I am really curious to see what the result is. Without wasting time, let's jump into After Effects and place our recorded face clip into the timeline. To track the face and its features, you can't use the tracker panel. It doesn't have a face tracking option. However, if you create a simple mask around your face and then just right click on the mask in the mask property panel, you can choose the track mask option. The tracker panel will then switch to a mask tracking layout. And here you can now choose different methods. And the one you want is the face tracking detailed features option. This will actually track everything from your face. The eyes, the mouth, the nostrils and so on. The only thing you need to do is track forward. Let After Effects do their thing and pada bim pada boom, your face is tracked with all these beautiful tracking points following along with your face features. Sometimes After Effects can have a hard time with the tracking and that's why we ask you to add those tracking markers to your face to help After Effects and not to look more beautiful. <laughs> But with some points, even the tracking markers weren't enough. But don't worry, we have a tip for that. You can use this simple track motion and track the feature that you want to redo. If you then go into your face tracking effect, you can remove all the keyframes for that feature. Of course, only the feature with the bad tracking. And with the Pick Whip tool, you can then link it to your freshly made tracking data. We're already halfway. How easy is this effect? Let me ask you a question. Do you like these After Effects videos we make? If you do, you can always let us know by liking the video. We love to know what you think. That's why we read every comment on every video. So you can always say hi or hello and pitch some ideas. We really appreciate your feedback. Even if it's a dislike, it helps us better understand what you like and what not. Now back to the next step and that will be linking the tracking data to the AI generated image. So you can place that AI face on the top of your timeline. First match the size and position of the two faces. Then and just pre-compose the AI clip and let's link everything together. For this you can use the puppet pin tool which you can find in the toolbar on top. Now you just have to place puppet pins all over your AI face. However, very important here is that you place the puppet pins on the exact same spot as you have your face feature tracking markers. So place all your pins super precise. You just have to link the puppet pins with the tracking data. So open up your property drop down for both effects and use the pick whip tool of the puppet pin property to link them to the correct tracking data. Meaning if you have a puppet pin on your nose, link that to the nose tracking data and so on. Super easy. Now, because the puppet pins don't have any names, it can get confusing. Of course, you can name them all, or if you're a little bit lazy just like me, you can just select them and recognize which pin you are holding by this very small dot inside the yellow circle. It's a subtle indication, but it will do the trick. As the very last step, you can now disable the clip of your real face and again pre-compose both clips. Bring in the background, add some handheld motion, maybe some other VFX, and enjoy your awesome effect. Three, two, one, smile. What a beautiful smile. New calendar event. Now, what about that AI tool that could do the same thing as After Effects? Well, it is done. Let's have a look at it. It works, but there's a lot of distortion going on. So I do think the point here goes to After Effects. Now, does that mean that this tool has no use cases? Well, in fact, it does. We actually have an in-depth tutorial on how you can make yourself old. You can check out that video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, MSI, for the support. And as always, stay creative.